Hi guys, Ross here again and today we will show you how to downgrade firmware of your Huawei or Honor device so you can start using Google Mobile services. Let's start! This is P40 Pro Lite but this should work on most of Huawei and Honor devices. Why we are doing this? Because with latest firmwares, Huawei blocked running of LZ Play app or so-called G application. And it's a necessary app for running Google Mobile services. That's why we need to downgrade our firmware and restore with a backup G application and start installation of all the Google Mobile services. If you launch G application and it's working, you are a lucky guy and downgrade is not needed. You can continue to install Google Mobile services by using my video for this, it will be here. And if you launch the application and pop-up message appear that your device is not supported, you need to downgrade firmware or you can try my other video using virtual machine, it will be here. To start, we need to download one application, Firmware Finder. Link will be in video description, so always check first there. Let's open the browser. Ok, that's the application. Tap on the arrow. And tap download. When the application is download, tap on it and install it. Let's open the app, give it permissions, don't show again, ok, ok, and the application shows our model number GNY, this is Huawei P40 Lite, just to be sure we are searching for the exact model of our phone, let's go first to our dialer and write this code. Select the second option and select version info, first option. Now from here scroll down and check base software version, that's the exact number of our phone model. Now let's go to firmware finder and tap on add model. Enter your model Tap OK and here it is our model Let's tap on it Wait the advert Tap close And here are all the, all the firmwares for our phone Let's scroll down The firmware that we need ends on 226 Let's scroll down We are searching for full auto firmwares. Here we have one, here we have also one, but let's try with the first one. Tap on it, close, and here you can see check firmware access. Tap on it, check availability, allow permissions. You can see firmware approved for installation. Ok, that's what we need now, just go back and remember these numbers 425209 it will be different for your phone but i will remember this one now guys we need to move to our computer okay guys we are now at our computer let's open chrome or whatever browser you are using and we need to download the necessary files link again will be in video description always check there Okay, here is the zip file that we need to download, tap on download, download is ready, let's unzip our files, and from here we need 
to unzip all the three zip folders. First guys, we need to install high suit. You need to install this version that I provide because if you install a newer version, you can't downgrade your device. So install high suit 10.0.0.5103. Dash OVE. Let's open it and install it. When installation of high suit is ready, just open it and if the application asks for update, never update it, just skip it. Now close the high suit. And let's continue with other applications. First, we need to open firmware finder. From here, select common base tab and search again for your device name tap on the search icon and all firmwares for your device will be on your screen let's scroll down and check ours which ends on 226 and what we need guys is the same number as here 425209 that's the important number let's check in on firmware finder on our computer that's it that's our number now when you find it tap on file list and copy this link Copy it and close this tab. Now let's go and open high suit proxy. Now you can see we have three tabs. We need to clear all of them. When we are ready, just paste the link that we previously copy in package URL. Paste it and now go again to firmware finder. And tap on the first tab, which is firmware and tap it and just copy it when it's copy open again high suit proxy and paste it on the second tab okay select point version now tap on setup select s yes Okay, high suit proxy is ready. Let's close this and we can close now firmware finder also. And we need to open high suit. When you open it, just tap here on the three dashes, select settings and just check the proxy, it's the same. Okay. Now let's connect our phone to the computer. Now it's written on your high suit that you need to go settings and search for HDB.
Here it is, a low connection via HDB. Tap on it and enable it. Select this, always allow this computer and select OK. And it's written on your computer, HiSuite will be installed on your device to provide you with device management services. OK. Now it's written again. Please start the high suit up on your phone and enter the verification code to connect. Okay, let's open our high suit. And here is our number. Write it on your computer on high suit. And select connect. agree on your computer and guys wait a minute and you will see available update okay here it is on your computer tap on it and you can see new version available that's the version that we need select update agree and just wait it That's it guys, we are ready with the computer and we can disconnect our phone from it. Now guys, let's continue on the phone. This is completely normal screen and that means you need to factory reset your phone. Now select low level for map and type yes. Select factory reset. is ready to start okay guys here is our freshly downgraded phone let's go to settings about phone and you can see we are using version 226 and now we can run the application and start installing google mobile services